Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are taking you with us on our grocery shopping to our local central market store. Every single time we come here to do our grocery shopping, we spend closer to one hour, sometimes even more than that. When you're entering the store, first what you see is the fresh produce. They do have organic and non-organic fresh produce, lots of it. And then you get this booklet, it's optional if you want to. It shows you the deals for the week. And then on the side you have these peppers and it's pretty much organized. We have peppers, zucchinis, uh, beans, all like on one side. And then the other side it's more like a, a broccoli and cabbage. Then they have a whole section of salads, like those pre-made salads and spinach and spring mix if you need. Um, then they have this whole section of organic, like you can definitely get everything about organic. And then they have this, you can get it by weight, you can just punch in the number, then you basically punch in how, how much you need or how much you already got, and then you print the label and pretty much that's it. And then they will scan the sticker at the register. This store is just so big and they carry so much fresh produce. That's why I like coming here to my groceries. I love the store because it gives you this feeling like you're at the farmer's market but inside, like indoors. And I like that it, most of their fresh produce goes by weight. So you don't need much. Like for us, there's two of us and I don't need much. And I'd rather come back and get more so that way um, you can just get how much you need. And these grapes, oh my god, just to give it a try. These are organic champagne. These are so good. They're sweet. They're tiny um, and they're very, very delicious. They also have this section of seafood and meats. Like they have a huge selection of pre-marinated, pre-seasoned, all different cuts, um, beef, lamb, pork, you name it. <laughs> They also carry like in their bulk section, they carry so much varieties of nuts and seeds and grains and dry fruits and like granolas and basically all kinds of nuts. You can see like seasoned nuts, like coconut nuts. These are so good. I always get them. Definitely give it a try. These honey toasted, I haven't tried it, but I heard they're very good, very delicious. And then they have this this section of like a baking section like rice and all kinds of flour like coconut flour and this section it's like more granolas and here it's like more spices it's like I always get my spices here if you just need a little bit this is a really good deal and coffees give it a try next time you're here they have so much varieties of coffees to pick and choose from these are the two usual ones we enjoy every single time we come here um, and then they have so much cookies and crackers. Just definitely need to visit the store. Then they have a huge selection of uh, honey, syrups, then some granola and cereals, like all kinds of brands. Very interesting store. Then they have this huge selection of chocolates. If you're a chocolate lover, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, almond chocolate, whatever, you name it. You just definitely have to browse around and just explore, I would say, this store. And then here we have some selection of different pasta. Uh, again, different brands, different taste, I would say, or kind. This one's more like a rice noodles. It's good for if you make those noodle soups or bone broth soups. Huge selection of cheeses and you can ask to cut into a smaller piece if you want to try some of them and you don't want to get a big one. That's what we usually do. In their dairy section, they do have so much varieties of milk um, to pick and choose from. The two ones that we usually get is this almond milk and banana milk, also the chocolate one. Um, these are the two good ones. Eggs too, they have so much varieties of eggs and brands and I usually get these quail ones it's for salads or omelets that I make. They also have like freshly baked breads and rolls and buns. I always get 
here um, tortillas. They're freshly made. These ones are a little bit spicy ones. So they do have like different bread, like white bread, whole wheat bread, um, rye bread, and gluten-free bread. And they have lots of pastries to try, like cupcakes, cookies, fudge, um, muffins, bagels. Also, large selection of cakes, cupcakes, mini tarts, pies. Just give it a try. They also have this hot food bar where you can get food to eat and it's delicious. Give it a try next time you're here. So this is pretty much, that's all we got and usually we're more focused on the fresh produce. We also got some food to try and let me share that with you. Okay, this one is a grilled salmon. This one is a salmon cake. This one is a crab cake. I always wanted to give it a try. So that's kind of, that's it for food. And this is a salsa, my husband's favorite one. This one is a mild one. We got two of these. It's so good one. Then these little eggs, they're quail eggs. I make omelets and um, I use them for salads. Strawberries, this is my to-go fruit. Some spinach, I always get the spinach. Um, I know that Target has it and um, I got some baby spring mix. This is for salad and sandwiches. I usually get microgreens at Sprouts and Whole Foods, but this store carries them too. Beets, I always get beets. I make salads and I roast them. Recipe is coming. I have so much ideas to use beets. Then some, um, this is a cilantro. I got some for uh, tacos. Then some zucchini. I always get zucchini and some cucumber. Um, some watermelon. This one is a mini person watermelon. Some honeydew and some um, oranges. I usually get these uh, suma or soma suma. I think that's how they call it. Oranges um, at Target. Then some herbs. They do have two for four dollars, so two dollars each. Um, and then some pasta. This is for my husband's um, noodle soup. We wanted to give it a try. And some chocolates. We usually don't get a lot of chocolates, but lately we just wanted to give it a try. They have so much varieties of chocolates. Um, then this mini orange fudge one. And this one is a good one. We did try it before. Um, but yeah, for now, we're like, okay, just gonna get one of each. So let's start with grilled salmon. I wanted to just try it because we usually cook at home. We don't go and eat out, like not anymore. We try to eat as much as we can at home. So that way, like we're trying to stay healthy. And I usually cook, but this time we were just so busy. And plus I wanted to give it a try, like they're new. And they got so much varieties of meats. Um, and why not, right? So this one is a crab one and I usually share with my husband. So I cut them in half so that way he can try it too. And for a sweet tooth, let's try some chocolate. I'm just gonna open all of those chocolates so we can get a try. I hope they're good. So first one is pumpkin seeds and caramel inside. Think. So that one was good. We did try it before. We had a couple times and it's really good. Do you like it? it let me see. Well, it's kind of caramel inside, so it is says caramel. So basically, it's creamy. Last time we got with um banana chips. Yeah, last time. Oh, banana I thought chips. this one was that. Crunchy one. This is caramel. Yeah, this is the one we got. But no, that was that was uh, banana chips last time. Mm. It was a good one. I it was crunchy like this so one. I'm gonna open this one now. A bunch of chocolate. This one is the one that I got. So let's take a look inside. Oh, this one looks good. I'm gonna try it too later. And this one is just. And 
this one is the funny. No, this one looks good too because it's pumpkin seeds. So basically, this is not banana, but this one. Yeah, I really like. I have a picture of it. Can you open this in half? Can you cut it? Not bad, not bad. There should be walnuts in there. It says in the cover, walnuts. It's just a chocolate. Mm, it smells like orange. Well, yeah, actually, it was orange. It w there's no walnuts, right? We got an orange one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it should be good. I mean, that's fine. Okay, so let's try food. We'll see how this tastes. Never tried this before. This one is a salmon cake. Okay, salmon cake looks good. It's very good, actually. Let's try the crab cake. See how this one tastes. Okay, salmon cake. It's good. It's not dry. It's very good. This is a crab cake. Both of these are good, but I like this one better than this one. This one tastes almost like. It's more like cake. Crab, except it's in the cake. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Good explanation. And their salmon always dry. Let's see. It looks greasy to me, but it's not dry. It's not dry, but it's greasy. So basically, I like this one. I will take this one again. Maybe this one too, but this one definitely. It's good. Grilled salmon and salmon cake. It's two that we definitely will get more next time. Nutritional facts for grilled salmon and ingredients. Someone wants to count calories. Crab cake has a lot of ingredients there. And for salmon cake, that's a lot of calories, but it tastes good. So that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next videos. Bye.